good morning everyone i think i'm audible yes you are audible let me express my heartfelt gratitude that i feel greatly honored to be part of this e-conference my presentation is titled uh, Forensic Investigation of the Basic Digital um, Evidences in Mobile Devices. Next slide. So I will begin my uh, presentation with clarifying that mobile devices, in this case, shall mean portable electronic devices like smartwatches, smartphones, GPS, and the like. And mobile device um, is a field under digital forensics, which is aimed at uh, recovery of potential device, potential evidence from mobile devices. And the mobile forensics also falls under digital forensics, which is generally a branch of forensic science, which deals with the investigation and recovery of evidence in mobile devices in relation to computer crimes. Generally, digital uh, forensics aims at uh, the capture of ensuring that potential evidence found in digital devices is thoroughly collected, analyzed, and preserved according to the state legal standards. Next slide. So the data that we are looking out for is what we are calling it evidence. So in this case, evidence shall mean anything which is a ground for belief or proof for data which we can present to court or jury in proof of the facts in issue and if this i can also be ex explained that when an offense has been committed and an allegation has been made to someone investigators will try their level best to ensure that the one who is responsible for that crime should be brought before the court and this is presented before the court of competent jurisdiction Next slide. So for us to get the evidence, for us to get the data from the mobile devices, there are several tools that we use. So these are some of the tools that we use for us to get the uh, evidences from the mobile devices. We have the email tracer if you want to investigate email uh, evidences. We have the autopsy, we have the in case, we have phone poll for Android forensics, and we have the wonder share. Some of these are commercial, while some of them are free, like autopsy is free, while in case is commercial. Next slide. So for us to uh, use those tools, there are methods what, that you have to follow for us to uh, get the data or for us to get the evidence. For example, we have the uh, manual data acquisition method, we have the logical data acquisition method, and then we have the physical data acquisition method. Data acquisition method are simply uh, a process of obtaining and making sure that the information that we get from the devices we have are properly analyzed. Um, in this case, manual acquisition involves the investigator navigating through the phone, just seeing the text or the photos, web browser history, so that we can take that um, in form of pictures and then present them as part of evidence in court. While logical data acquisition involves connection between two machines, the suspect machine and that which you want to get the data collected. And then we collect data from the logical uh, partitions of our uh, suspected machine. And then the physical parts, uh, physical data acquisition is making a bit by bit copy of the suspect hard drive. And this has the potential to recover even deleted data. But most of the times it is advisable to use a right blocker to avoid transfer of data to the other machines. Next slide. So we have examples of mobile devices. These are the devices where we can get our evidences. We have the smartwatch. We can get the evidences from the smartwatch if it was used in the commission of the office, like the drone, we have the cameras, we have the uh, phone, we have the hard drives. So these are some of the devices. Next slide. So the evidences that we are looking out for, for us to get in the mobile devices, we have we can have the call logs. We can use that as part of evidence. We have the biometric data. These are features, human features like a fingerprint or EA 
EA or RIP prints, we can use them as part of MTS. We can get this from um, mobile devices like text messages. We can have the uh, emails or serial numbers. We can use them as part of MTS. We can get this from our mobile devices. Next slide. So as the police, as uh, most of the times they do the investigations, they cannot work alone. They also depends upon uh, some other stakeholders to help them in the investigation of crimes. For example, we have the members of the general public. They give the police tips on how to uh, handle some cases. They also, um, the police also depends on some other professionals like the pathologist to conduct postmodern examination. They also depend on botanists and the like. Uh, in conclusion, in conclusion, uh, the effects of COVID have paved way for individuals to uh, operate from home. This has facilitated the extensive use of mobile devices. Most of the times, um, this time around, people are using mobile devices, including criminals. So criminals are using the mobile devices to uh, steal from people to commit several nefarious activities on the uh, using on the internet using the mobile devices because you can move with the mobile device and then commit um, a crime anywhere anytime it doesn't matter these crimes are like uh, cyber stalking phishing cyber harassment child pornography you name it and then the, the, the uh, it is the core duty of forensic investigators to ensure that proper legal standards are followed during um the investigations, correction, analysis, storage, and presentation of evidence. Otherwise, if you mess around with the how you handle the evidence, then it becomes inadmissible in court. Thank you. That's the end of my presentation.